Hey folks, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear and still in quarantine, which is fine, you know. I gotta say, I've got it pretty good and I hope some of you guys out there are at least enjoying your coffee in the morning. So we had a lot of requests over the years since we stopped doing the Good Morning Gail series to start it back up again. And we thought, well, since we're in quarantine and we actually have a little more time on our hands, we thought we would start it up again. So I am brewing some this morning, some coffee. I'm gonna make cold brew actually. I'm gonna make it, well, over ice in my mirror. And you can find these, uh, all this stuff on our website. This is the Kalita, the Myrrh, and I also have the Bonavita kettle going on the stove over there. I have also questions that you guys posted on uh, the announcement that we were going to do this series again. So. I want to go over some of those questions, but let me get the coffee going first. Let's just get that going. Got to have our coffee. Okay. Um. Yeah, you know, uh, it's a tough time and we're all doing the best we can and I really appreciate each and every one of you staying home, staying isolated, staying uh, six foot distance. That's all good stuff. So please practice that. You know what that means? Well, I'll get through this a lot sooner. So let me get this going and then I'll read a couple questions. Now, I'm not sure how much this is going to take with the ice in there and I got to leave room for the half and half as well. but. Let's get to some questions. Uh, Rick J writes, good morning, Gail. Any tips on milk steaming with a Sylvia? I seem to be a bit inconsistent with the amount of foam. It's either a lot or not much. Well, that's kind of the nature of the beast with the Sylvia that I've experienced the same thing. I would say if you're not experienced with steaming with it, don't open the steam knob all the way. Cut it back just a little bit. And I would recommend no smaller than a 16 ounce frothing pitcher filled up to the bottom of the spout or 20 ounce same thing and then uh, as it starts to the boiler is going to cool down on that because it's a single boiler and as it's you've opened it just partially as it starts to slow down you'll see the boiler kick in the light will come on open that knob up a little bit more you'll get a little bit more foam but beyond that it's just practice 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 and I mean it takes a lot of practice so putz around with it you know get some gallons of milk if you can don't go to the store just for that but you know get some gallons of milk and see how it goes we get some more water here I gotta remember to I have ice in there. i got to remember to leave room for my half and half. Okay, second question. Brian H. writes, If you buy boutique coffee beans and there are no grinding instructions, what setting should you use? Should you use less or more if it's finely ground? Brian, that's a loaded question. There is no right answer to that. If you are brewing espresso, it's going to be one way. If you're brewing pour over, it's going to be another. If you're brewing drip, it's going to be another. Uh, French press, another way. So <laughs> there are no settings. It's going to be a trial and error. If you're doing espresso, you're looking for the grind consistency to allow you to brew or pour two ounces, which is a double shot, in 20 to 30 seconds. If it's coming out too fast, take it a little bit finer. If it's coming out in 15 seconds. If it's coming out too slow, make it coarser. It's really trial and error. There is no exact, and it depends on the grinder. All grinders have personalities and differences. So that's just another thing to think about. All right, so uh, Mr. Ken writes, I would like to know uh, through what power source you use for your, uh, for in, in my RV for the espresso machine, et cetera. And then I'm sure you're referring back to that video that I did and we aired it uh, last Monday, <coughs> excuse me, about the uh, apartamento that I had on the counter here. And I don't have it here all the time. I don't use that all the time, but I use it a lot. 
This is a machine that will run on 15 amps. A typical, my outlet's up here. It's a typical outlet in a house, RV, whatever, 15 or 20 amp service. So it doesn't require any special service. So nothing special there. Let's see what we got going on here. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. You know, it's getting warmer down here in Arizona, so I want to have iced coffee this morning. Okay. Uh, this, I'm going to have to... S Ethan Kawiski. And I probably just butchered that, sorry. In July this year, I will have owned my Rocket Apartment for one year. Do you suggest sending it in yearly for maintenance? What we recommend is, and Rocket concurs with this, Use the best water that you can that has some minerals in it, but not a lot of minerals. Do not use high mineral water. Also, do not use distilled water. That's not good for it. That's the best thing that you can do is use the best water possible in it. And they recommend, Rocket recommends sending it in for professional descale about every two years. And we have the service to do that. You can see that on our website. Check that out. If you're not noticing your machine diminishing its functionality diminishing, I would say don't worry about it. But after about two to three years, I would definitely do a preventative maintenance, send it into our team, and they'll do a complete uh, tune-up on it for you. You'll get it back. It'll be in really good shape. All right, what do we got going on here? Oh, that looks good. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I had enough ice, but we'll see. I know you guys go, good Lord, Gail, this is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of, well, the ice is all gone, but that's okay. I bet you it's cold there though, still. Put the lid on. Cheers. Mmm. That is so good. That's really rich. Um, I'm thinking... That's the Triboro that I'm finishing up. So uh, Triboro, it's on our website. Okay, one more question. And then I want to talk about some coffees that we would like you to just consider at this point. Nathan A. writes, I'm pretty new to the brew, and home, brew at home scene since we can't go out. Yeah, isn't that the truth? What would be the best equipment for someone starting out? So the best equipment, it's all very subjective. I always ask these questions. What kind of brewing do you want to do? Do you want to go do uh, cold brew? Do you want to do pour over? Do you want to do drip? Do you want to do espresso? And then the second question would be, what's your budget, including, especially with espresso, a good grinder? So I would suggest, since you have this question, I would suggest calling our team, 866 372-4734. I would call them and get one of the sales team on the line and they're going to ask you the same questions and we're going to narrow it down for you. What's the best for you? And then our shipping department's still working. They're fully up to speed. Thank you, you guys. You're rocking it. And whatever you decide on, place the order, get it out to you as fast as possible so that you're not suffering any more than you have to. At least you'll have some coffee equipment. So... On our website, I would check out the OXO Geometry. I would say check that coffee out. Right now we have it on sale. Uh, it's a really good coffee. I like it a lot. And then some other ones that are kind of pertinent to the times going on right now. Methodical, play nice. Everybody is stuck in an area, play nice. And, you know, you're in close confinement. Dogwood, bear hug. Give everybody a big old hug around you, right? And uh, Chamber, big joy. When we get toward the end of this whole thing, there is going to be so much joy. But don't jump the gun. Stay, stay, you know, safe. That's the thing. And then Kinkapoo, Spring Blend. Spring is just around the corner, I hope. And that we can think about moving on, getting out there, and maybe doing some cold brew or something like that. So... That's good morning, Gail, this morning. Stay tuned. We'll be doing it again next Sunday, I hope. 
And if not, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And cheers. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe. That's what really counts. I really appreciate each and every one of you out there. And so, you know, stay safe, stay, stay well. Cheers. Take care. Thank you.